Three Jewish students at New York University have filed a lawsuit claiming the school has failed to protect them from rising anti-Semitism, which they say has worsened since the Israel-Hamas war began on October 7. The lawsuit, filed Tuesday in Manhattan Federal Court by NYU juniors Bella Ingber, Sabrina Maslavi and Saul Tawil, challenges Title V of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which prohibits discrimination based on race, color or national origin. It reminds me of the title. The century-old virus of anti-Semitism is alive and well at New York University, their lawsuit states. This case arises from NYU's egregious civil rights violations that created a hostile educational environment in which plaintiffs and other Jewish NYU students were subjected to widespread acts of hatred, discrimination, harassment, and intimidation. Students claim, anti-Semitic behavior, at university, continues, that NYU has shown, deliberate indifference at best, the students allege in the lawsuit school fostered an environment in which students and faculty were permitted to continually harass, slander, slander, threaten Jewish students. While each of anti-Semitic behaviors alleged here are prohibited by one or more of NYU's policies, the university has done nothing in force those policies to correct or prevent this behavior and certainly nothing close way NYU respectfully enforces them. The lawsuit states there were abuses that did not involve anti-Semitism. NYU selectively enforces its rules by deeming Jewish students unworthy of the protections it provides to non-Jewish students who are victims of discrimination, harassment, and intimidation. In a statement to ABC News, NYU spokesman John Beckman said allegations do not accurately describe conditions on our campus or many steps NYU has taken to combat anti-Semitism and keep campus safe. Anti-Semitism violates our rules. We take anti-Semitism other forms of hate extremely seriously are committed to protecting our community providing an environment where all students can live learn peacefully, Beckman said. The three plaintiffs in case said they each were the targets of repeated verbal physical threats, felt unsafe on campus as they were forced to confront angry mobs of students' faculty who were praising Hamas calling for action. They claim the situation traumatized them, affecting their coursework and limiting their ability to go out for fear of harassment, including to the university library. In a statement to ABC News regarding the alleged verbal and physical threats, Beckman said first, the lawsuit is full of false allegations and paints a false picture of conditions on NYU's campus. Second, anti-Semitic language, violence, and threats of violence are all not tolerated under NYU's rules. We take such incidents extremely seriously. Responding to and investigating each and violators are referred to our student discipline office. They also argue that as a result of students being exposed to what th.